About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. There are huge Ecamm Live updates. We've got native M1 support, the first Mac at streaming app to have that natively preview mode. We have all kinds of things. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the brand new public release of Ecamm version 3.8. And I am so excited to walk you through all of this stuff. There's a ton to cover, but we're gonna go step by step. So stick with me till the end because I have, uh, well, Ecamm has a giveaway for you uh, and I have a special secret word that you have to wait till the end for uh, to help you get even more entries into the giveaway. So the giveaway link is being posted in the comments right now. Uh, and that giveaway includes, holy cow, a Mac M1 Mini, an LG display, a Sony ZV-1 camera, a switch pod tripod with the ball neck, two Elgato key lights, a Stream Deck XL, and a Shure MV7 microphone. Holy freaking cow. That's a big giveaway. Are you guys, I know, right? I mean, like, wow, the giveaway is freaking amazing. So uh, you can enter now while we're doing this walkthrough, but also stick it around till the end. I have a secret word that will help you get even more points into the entry. All right. So we have a ton to cover. Uh, we're going to be going over the fact that Ecamm, well, let's just get this out of the way. It is the first streaming app to run native on Apple Silicon M1 computers. So that is super exciting. Um, and that is all native support. It's working really, really well. It's super efficient. Um, we're gonna talk about preview mode. We're gonna talk about widget overlays. Now WebM support. I'll explain what all of that is and how it works and show you some examples. Uh, LinkedIn Live is now available straight from Ecamm into LinkedIn Live if you have access to that. Interview talkback for guests. When you have guests on your show, you can actually now have back channel communication so that you can talk to them like during my countdown timers you, you guys love so much. Um, we can talk to the guests and you as a viewer never hear that. So that's actually really, really cool, really important. And comments now include the ability to search within your comments and favorite comments for later pulling up and pushing. Uh, so lots to cover, that's not even it. I am also gonna go over, I'm gonna demo those things, but I'm also gonna go over a whole other list of features that uh, you need to know about. And some of those smaller features, some of those smaller updates uh, actually make a big difference in your production if you like smooth streaming production. 
right? I mean, yeah, we all want smoother streams, right? <laughs> I know. Now you need a Mac. <laughs> so Victor, you're going to go get a Mac. I know. Is that all? <laughs> so if you guys are new around here, please do type new in the comments. I would love, love, love to meet you. And if you don't know me, I'm Laura Petrucci from Live Streaming Pros, uh, where I help you create professional live video that is uniquely you. And this is the show that I do every Thursday with Ecamm Live in partnership with them on both their channels and my channels. And it's called Go Live Now. We've got some newbies in the house. Angela, Angelo, Muhammad, welcome, welcome. I know I did those in the back, backwards order. <laughs> Damar, welcome, welcome. Oh my gosh, so many new things to learn. Andy, thank you so much for being here. Wow. Okay, I just want to make sure we dig in really quick. I missed Mohammed and Paul. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> you just saw one of the benefits of the new beta, or no, I'm sorry, going from beta into public release the new WebM support for Super Chats. Uh, thank you so much, Anthony, for that super sticker. Uh, <laughs> now, we'll talk about that. You guys can, can uh, set that by Super Chatting as often as you want, and that will come through. You can see Abby the Chihuahua in her Easter outfit. <laughs> How cute is that? I love them. the magical Mr. Paul Dixon is so amazing. But we'll talk about that and uh, everything else. Okay, there's so much to cover here. Real quick, before we dig in, um, I want to remind you about a couple of things. Three things, in fact. The last public release included camera overlays. If you're not using camera overlays, that is also something very, very, very important to put into your production. Um, and I can do, do a demo of that later. Also, ISO audio isolated audio. Basically, when you go live, you can actually choose to record separate audio tracks for each individual audio source along with your full video. So that's pretty powerful stuff right there. <laughs> Thank you, Aynar, for the super chat. Uh, an open cardboard with the word unboxing. I love how it reads the super chats out. That's so cute. Uh, what are camera overlays? Um, no. So camera overlays allow you to place the video source, the camera source, whether that's your camera, a third camera, a second camera, whether that's your laptop coming in as a separate source through a capture card, you can place that anywhere you want. So you could have, you have full control over the placement of where things go. That actually gives you so much more fine-tuned control over your production and the visuals of how it looks. Um, I, I hope that maybe next one, the next release of Ecamm Live will have the auto dance feature. I hope. We'll see. <laughs> I've put in my request <laughs> to, to Glenn and Ken. Um, also, the third thing I want to remind you about is, Lita, if you have not... <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Wow, super sticker, $20 super sticker. Appreciate you. Um, that is Abby the Chihuahua. How awesome is she? Uh, okay, so if you have not signed up for Lita, the Live Every Day in April Challenge, we are taming this guy, the Live Adrenaline Monster, and uh, we're confidently appearing on camera. Through 30 days of prompts that, that I give you, you will tame the Live Adrenaline Monster lamb. And I'm going to walk you through everything. You're going to get more confident on camera, shrink the amount of time it takes for you to get confident and bring that down into 30 days by going live every day in a private, safe environment, private Facebook group. I've got you covered. We don't allow any judgment inside of that group at all because I want you to be vulnerable. I want you to, to feel comfortable making mistakes, going live and getting more confident on camera. So this is something that I would love for you to join, leadachallenge.com right here and make sure that you are participating and putting yourself first throughout the month of April so that you can show up on camera using Ecamm Live and not just worry about the tech side, but you worry, you also get you 
your mindset and the reason that you're doing all of this in the first place. You get consistent. You get comfortable seeing yourself and hearing yourself on camera. So uh, Lead a Group is awesome. And, and we kicked it off today. Today's April 1st. So day one is underway. So come join us um, and I will see you there. Okay. So let's talk about preview mode. Okay. I'm going to go into demo mode. Like I said, we have a lot to cover today in terms of the walkthrough of version 3.8 in Ecamm Live. And I want to make sure that you understand what everything is. So preview mode looks like this. Um, so where you have two screens, okay? So you have the preview screen and then you have the program screen. These are two separate windows, as you can see, and this allows you to make changes on the fly without your audience seeing it. So for example, if I want this, this is my live feed. This is what you guys are seeing right here. Okay. But as soon as I enter preview mode by clicking this button right here, then I can go to a completely different uh, setup, right? So uh, I can make changes. Nope, I don't want that. Oh, we need to we need to adjust the super chat. Fantastic. Uh, let's get that off so that I can adjust the person's name, right? So you're seeing that this over here is what the audience is seeing. Maybe I throw to a guest and then I hit publish. Right, so I fix things and then I can send that live. Now, obviously I don't have a guest today, but <laughs> um, that allows you to really um, have a smoother viewed production. So while you in the background might be editing things, changing things, adding things to your production, the audience never actually has to see that, which is pretty darn cool. So I, Love, I mean, this is preview on the left, live on the right. Exactly. This is how you typically set it up where you do have um, the, the editing on the left and the live production on the right. You can arrange these windows however you want. Uh, that is totally up to you. This is the way I like to view my screens um, side by side, but I also have it directly under the camera so that I can see what's going on both in preview mode as well as production mode. Um, so that is, that's preview mode. I mean, that's, it's pretty simple. However, the thing that you need to be aware of is that you do need to kind of practice with this, right? So when you go into preview mode, oftentimes you're on screen, right? So you, are going to want to practice talking with the audience and keeping them entertained while editing things in the background. Uh, now you can talk through that, you can let them know what you're doing, but you also want, if you want that smooth production, you want the audience to be seeing a smooth production and hopefully they never even have to know in an ideal world, they never have to know that you're editing things or changing things on the fly. If you have a guest, the best way is to go to the guest, let them talk for a bit while you're editing things in the background, just mute yourself so they don't hear all the clicks, right? So a little pro tip for you right there. Um, let's see, very useful to be able to grab the right hand screen and make it go full screen on another monitor. Yes, you can totally do that. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, let's see, I just wanna see what, if you have questions, be sure to ask me if you have comments about these different changes that I'm walking you through, let me know. Um, let's see, preview mode takes some getting to, used to for sure. I have heard this from a lot of our students. Uh, if you're not used to a production you know, uh, software that has this functionality and you've been using Ecamm exclusively, uh, not having preview mode, um, and going into having the ability to edit behind the scenes is definitely a different workflow. So that's why I'm suggesting that you practice with it before you actually use it um, because it can feel a little overwhelming to people. And also uh, seeing two of you on screen. I mean, 
come on, we don't even want to see one of us on screen. <laughs> and now you're seeing double you. So that can get a little overwhelming as well. So again, that other option is to take this and move that over to a different monitor. That way you avoid seeing the W if that's distracting to you. So to, to me, it's kind of normal. I don't have a problem with it, but you do you and arrange your windows however it is that you need to, to be able to accomplish what you're doing. <laughs> there you go. So you have that, that now, um, which is fantastic. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, I appreciate you, your <laughs> love of the puppy. We are all in love with the puppy, Abby the Chihuahua. She's going to pop up here very soon, I'm sure. <laughs> These changes are amazing. Will Super Chat feature work with something like Buy Me a Coffee? We'll talk about that. John, you're, 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 you're going ahead of me here. We're going we're gonna to talk about that here shortly. <laughs> so I'll come back to your question, okay? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, that one, I'm sorry. So you, <laughs> uh, whoever just super chatted, RO, uh, because you super chatted on the Ecamm channels, I actually don't get that as a pop-up. Um, but thank you so much for doing so, and maybe we can manually give him one. <laughs> okay, it's preview mode any more resource intensive on your computer? As I understand it, no. Um, so they're, like I said, they're being very efficient with, uh, especially the, you know, M1s, right? If you're, if you're streaming on an M1 Mac, uh, you're going to be really efficient. Um, but uh, as I understand it, no, there's, there's no more resource heaviness going, resource heaviness going on, <laughs> but they can correct me if I'm wrong on that. All right. So the next thing is, hold on, let me make sure. Okay. So Spirit, before we move on from the preview mode, Spirit is asking, when you click on back to live broadcast, does the second screen go away? I can't recall. And now I get confused with two screens. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Ro. Um, oh, it's so cute. It's just so cute. <laughs> okay. So what you're asking is when you're in preview mode and you click um, back to live mode. So we, if we're in a separate you know, scene that we've set up and I say back to live mode, we're not changing anything unless you publish. So I, I, I went out of preview mode, sorry. So let me, hold on. Okay. So if we're in preview mode and we've got my main camera and we're making an adjustment to this scene, um, then you want to publish if you want to send that. Now, oftentimes I want to fix things or add something or change something before it's time to actually push that. So if you hit publish, that's going to send it out to the live broadcast. If you hit back to live mode, then as you see, nothing changed. Okay. So you're okay. Um, either way, whether you want that to go live immediately, you just hit publish. If you want that for future reference and future clicking, uh, then you just hit back to live mode. So that's pretty, hopefully that answers your question there. Okay. Let's see. Next thing, widget overlays. So you've been seeing the super chats um, come through. These are widget overlays. And we actually have different widget overlays that I'm going to show you. Thank you, Anar, for the, for the coin with a star super sticker. <laughs> um, so these are widget overlays. So that is coming from Stream Elements. Now, in the past, Ecamm has done... Um, has done WebKit uh, in terms of overlays. And when I'm saying overlays, what we're doing is we're going to the overlays window and we're creating a new widget overlay, okay? And then this allows you to fill in a, uh, you know, an overlay uh, URL, change the size, and then add it to your production. That's what you see right here with this super chat. Um, and that is filling the entire screen. But when it when the alert comes through, uh, then it, it triggers Abby the Chihuahua to pop up. So these widgets uh, used to work on WebKit. Now they work on Chromium. And that means that they're, it increases performance. It's much more uh, efficient. 
and it allows us to do a lot more without heavy CPU usage. Before with WebKit, um, I was experiencing, because we like to do some pretty fancy uh, super chat alerts, um, we, were, we, were, we were having, uh, you know, the computer kind of, kind of weigh, feel the weight of that. And so now with Chromium, support uh and also like so now you have webm support webgl support and css animations and that is more efficient better performance and so now you can do some pretty fancy stuff if you want to without a heavy cpu usage thank you so much sandy for the 499 super chat uh says if we get donations from buy me a coffee on ecamm and not on youtube awesome not monetized um I don't think Paul or or Ecamm staff. I don't believe Buy Me a Coffee actually gives you a widget overlay type of link to do so. Um, so I'm gonna wait for for clarification on that, but I don't think that you can. Um, and so yeah, like <laughs> yeah, the Drucaris super chat, that was that was heavy. Um, but now we can do something like that. That was like full screen. Um, she really popped up and there was music and there was all kinds of things. So um let's see. Oh, it does. So Doc is saying it does. So then we can use buy me a coffee. And sorry, I don't use buy me a coffee, but so apparently you can use buy me a coffee. Um, it's okay. So there is a widget overlay, but not very customizable is what John is saying. So as long as you have that URL that you can enter into that overlay, like I showed you a second ago, then you'll be able to use whatever stream lab, stream elements, apparently buy me a coffee. So that's fantastic. Awesome, I love it. Did not know that. Yay, what's with all the super chat stuff? <laughs> We're showing you how it works. <laughs> um, okay, so also I wanna point out, um, so let me give you a couple of other examples, right? So we've got the super chat alerts. Not everybody is monetized. Not everybody wants to have <laughs> super chat alerts. Thank you so much, Kiwi Gold. Kiwi the Goldie, uh, you like my dog? You're the best. Yes, I do like your dog. Kiwi looks super, super cute. Oh, I love seeing the people's dogs. <laughs> okay, so not only super chats work, I wanna give you a couple of other examples to show you what you can do with WebM overlays. Um, these are all the lamb that I point that I uh, showed you earlier. This is an, a, a WebM overlay. Uh, we could do things like falling in money. <laughs> we can do things like confess. Betty, yay, you celebrate new viewers, you celebrate new buyers, you celebrate whatever it is you wanna celebrate. Uh, you could do the snow that we used so often throughout the winter around here. You could do a fire overlay, <laughs> okay? Um, this is uh, one of the countdown timers, right, that we do, but you could use that for anything. Um, you could do things like subscribe to make sure and you hear like the sound is coming through and everything. So you can use this functionality for anything you want in your production. Again, getting it to be more efficient and better performance. So that can really help you. Um, and I love, oh my God, goals. <laughs> Hey, in our store, in the live streaming pros store, uh, we already have WebM versions of the money overlays, but we are also adding the fire, we're adding the confetti, uh, the snow in WebM versions. So if you've already bought, look out for um, those for an email update with that. Or if you want to go ahead and buy and get that, uh, we'll have that released soon. So WebM really can do so much uh, that 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 Chromium, you know, back end uh, can do so much for your production and not bog down your production. So yes, I love it. I was waiting for this. Yes, right? <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, oh, I also was supposed to tell you, <laughs> I have notes from the magical Mr. Paul Dixon um, to make sure that I give you all the details. Now we use 
So yeah, so the, the WebM versions of the Snow and Confetti are much smaller in WebM. Again, give you know lessening that CPU usage. Now also the super chat alerts that you're seeing with Abby the Chihuahua come in, uh, those are coming through stream elements, like I was saying earlier, stream elements, stream labs, buy me a coffee, um, anything that you get that URL that you can add as a widget overlay inside of Ecamm. But with stream elements, um, you know, it gives you some basic uh, overlays that you can use and you can adjust to fit your branding. Uh, if you want to go custom like the Abby the Chihuahua uh, Super Chat, you can dig into the code if that's your thing, if you understand what you're doing. <laughs> um, or you can buy some pre-made uh, alerts from places like Nerd or Die. So you have options, right? So I have on my team, the magical Mr. Paul Dixon, who does all of our visuals, all of our alerts, and he is amazing. But if I were trying to do this myself, you know, I would fail miserably because <laughs> I suck at graphics. And so, you know, you can, you can get things from our store. Uh, then you have other places, like I mentioned, uh, that offer uh, different, uh, different overlay alerts, things like that for stream elements specifically. Um, or, you know, you can, you can just use the basic versions that are available to you in these different places and just deal with the fact that it's not custom. So that's totally up to you. Just be aware that there are options within those overlays, those widget overlays. Uh, there are also fun widget overlays you can use that are games. Uh, something like words on stream is a really fun way to engage with your Twitch chat during downtime. Oh, I don't know about that one. I have to look that one up. That sounds awesome. Yeah, but well, I'm mean, on Twitch. Yeah, like lots of games, uh, game, you know, overlays that, that happen like that. I've never seen the words on stream one specifically. So now I have to look into that one. Is the quality in WebM just as good? Almost. You do lose a little bit of quality, but it's not where you're going to like notice it. If you, if we thought at live streaming pros are, you know, like we, we place high, high, high priority on quality. Um, cause it's what we teach. So if we are doing it with WebM, then I, I just want to kind of put that into perspective. Like we wouldn't actually use it in WebM if we thought the loss of quality was noticeable enough for you as a viewer. So yeah, it's, um, and just to clarify, uh, you lose a little tiny bit of quality. It's worth it. An animation that might be 400 megs in ProRes could be 20 megs in WebM. So that's a huge difference. Oh, I love it. Jean, well, if you have any, you know, thoughts about this, I have a full tutorial series at livestreamingpros.com slash ecamm. There's a free trial link there as well. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is huge. I love ecamm uh, as you guys, as you guys can tell, like <laughs> I'm constantly talking about it. <laughs> constantly talking about it. Yes. Uh, whoops. Hi. Hi, Noel. <laughs> um, they bring in sound with WebM. Uh, I mentioned that earlier, but worth bringing up again. Uh, normal animated overlays don't bring in that audio. So with WebM, you can have that bark that you hear every time there's a super chat alert. Um, you can put music in there. You can do whatever you need to do there. Okay. Let's see. I just want to make sure I, um, before I move on to the next one, um, Josh says, if we purchase the LSP stream deck key pack, is there an update for 3.8? If there is, how do we update? Not yet. I did see, uh, that Paul gave me some new stream deck, um, keys. And, and if you don't know what we're talking about, uh, these are custom keys that we have on our store available for, uh, your stream deck so that you can have, you know, like, it's, it's easier to run your production because you really can see it. Uh, things like the Abby cam, you know, or the dance. <laughs> um, and so we now have preview mode. Uh, and I don't know, maybe Paul will let me know when we're ready to release that to you guys who have already bought the stream deck pack. Um, but that should be coming soon. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. I'm coming back to questions in the Q&A section. I'm going to keep moving on. 
the interview talk back. This is huge. Now, I don't have a guest today, so I'm not going to demo that and you wouldn't, it would be a weird demo anyway. Um, but if you have a guest, what happens is now you can actually talk to them behind the scenes in the back channel, essentially. I forgot to close my door. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I just realized I didn't close my bathroom door the whole, the whole way. Anyway, um, so you have the ability to talk uh, about pee breaks, about <laughs> whatever you need during a countdown timer or while a video is playing or things like that. So that your audio between you and your guest don't actually go go out to, doesn't actually go out to the, the live production. Um, and so it's very clear when it says, uh, when it says that you're in that back channel, um, mode. Uh, so you know that people aren't hearing your back channel conversation. So that's huge. <laughs> Aw, I'm glad that you're enjoying this. That's fantastic. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes. And so when we release, when you buy something from the store, we release updates uh, from time to time. Uh, and we don't charge you extra for those. Absolutely not. Okay. Oh, I love, I love this now. I play up to seven minute videos and the team can now chat. Exactly. Right. So this is especially great for if you are bringing in those pre-recorded videos, you're playing that and you're like, I got to just be silent for seven minutes. This is, this is harsh, right? <laughs> we all feel that way. Um, now you can just goof off, talk, to your, uh, uh, to your guest about what's coming next, uh, or like you, like I said, pee breaks, whatever, whatever it is. <laughs> Private chat with hosting guests is amazing. Be live, uh, says, uh, so, so very, such a very, very useful feature. It certainly is. I love that one. Also another feature, by the way, these are the main major features here shortly. I'm going to give you the a, a bunch of smaller ones that actually are pretty cool. So you're not going to want to miss those. And for the giveaway, the huge giveaway, I'm like, oh my gosh, the giveaway is insane. But I'm going to tell you a secret code to get more entries into that giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned. But um, comments, I want to go into demo mode again, uh, because this comments is actually pretty huge. So I'm going to draw your attention right here where my mouse is. Okay. <laughs> comments and reactions. This is brand new, uh, for this public release. You can favorite comments so you can add things to a queue, right? So if I want to say, if I'm talking, I'm trying to deliver value and I happen to see, um, yeah, <laughs> I happen to see something that I want to queue up for later, then I can hit that little star and now it's going to show in my favorite comments. You're getting ahead of me, Caleb. Come on, don't get ahead of me. <laughs> um, so you can, you can do that or if you, let's say you want to search for something. So I asked, okay, here's a perfect example. I'm going to get my keyboard over here because it's kind of hidden at the moment. Wait for it. <laughs> I asked earlier who was new. And so if I type new, because I asked you to type new in the comments, then I will see anything that says new. So I can say, oh, Paul is new. Moet is new. And I hope I'm saying your name right. Laura is new. Well, Victor isn't new. <laughs> but I can find any targeted keywords. So if you're doing a giveaway, if you just you're later on in the show and you were like, somebody said something really good and I want to throw that comment up on screen. You can just search for the, the keyword, right? Um, so yeah, dancing, right? <laughs> you're going to see all of the things that have dancing in it. And so that really helps you minimize what you're looking at and trying to not scroll way back to the top of the show. So then when I click X, then I'm back to the live production or the, yeah, the live comments. There you go. <laughs> I'm new, but I haven't been watching a ton of your videos on YouTube. Well, I'm so glad that you're new and that you're here. Thank you. I have been. I have been. <laughs> so the keyword search, the favorited comments, queuing up. Uh, is really, really helpful. Now, it is kind of difficult from time to time when you have a ton of comments. I mean, we have 240 people watching right now and a lot of comments coming through. Um, so for me to queue up, 
that can be a little overwhelming as your channel grows. Um, so what I'm thinking about doing is actually having, um, you know, somebody here on in in person, Callie, who is our uh, community care hero. <laughs> I had to remember her title. <laughs> um, but uh, we have, you know, that she could actually be running that. She could be queuing things up while off screen. Uh, and then that when I'm ready, I could just go through the favorited comments and pull the, the relevant questions. Uh, so that's another option as well. And maybe one day, yes, community care here. Thank you. <laughs> that's Callie. Um, so uh, maybe one day we have remote access for that as well. That's Hopefully in their queue. I don't know, actually. I, I don't know. I've, I've, I'm requesting it. My, my request is put out there as of now. Okay. Um, let's see. So many questions. I'm going to get to questions. We still have so much to cover. So I just want to make sure we get through all of the things before we go into full Q&A mode. I know all of the updates are fantastic. They're, they're major updates. Um, and then we also have a few non-major updates, but actually pretty cool stuff. So before I get to that, make sure that you join the Lead a Challenge. That is going to help you get more confident on camera, deliver in your personality style so that you can have um, you're going to be attracting the people who are right for you. You're going to grow your audience by being uniquely you. And that's going to change everything for you. So remember that, you know, while you're going to get confident using Ecamm by doing and doing and doing, you're also going to get confident in just your presentation style showing up and showing up big time by doing it over and over and over. And we're shrinking that down to 30 days, live every day in April, the Lita Challenge. Uh, that's completely free. I give you a prompt every single day to do, and you go live inside of the Facebook group. It's a private, safe environment for you to feel comfortable, vulnerable, and make mistakes without worrying about what the public is thinking about you. Everyone in there is in the same boat. They're all feeling the same things as you. And so I would love to see you in there. Okay, let's see. Other stuff. Whew. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Giveaway link is in the comments and in the description. Uh, again, if you didn't see hear this at the beginning, the giveaway for Ecamm includes a Mac M1 Mini, an LG display, a Sony ZV-1 camera, a switch pod tripod with the ball neck, two Elgato key lights, a Stream Deck XL, and a Shure MV7 microphone. Holy freaking cow, that is an amazing package right there. Uh, giveaway, so ecam.tv slash giveaway to enter uh, to win the entire live streaming studio. So that is what you want to do. Uh, and I've got a special keyword for you at the end of this that's going to give you extra bonus entries to that. The dream. I know, right, Haley? <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy dancing cow. <laughs> Oh, I love that, Doug. I love that. <laughs> oh, Jason is new. Great concept, a 30-day lead, lead a challenge. I have done this for years, and in, in 2020, we really made it a, an amazing challenge that people come back for over and over and over. And so I would really love to see you, uh, Jason, in there as well. Okay, so let's talk about more Ecamm stuff. Not only those major updates I already talked to you about, also... The, uh, the, the smaller things that make, a, that make a difference. And I'm not even gonna tell you every single thing. Uh, I've pared down the list so that we don't go on for two hours. <laughs> um, they did, I, I'm, when I say this is a major update, guys, this is a major update. So you definitely want to be using it. Oh, James is new here. I love that people are still saying that they're new. It's fantastic. I love to see you here, James. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh yeah, Jane. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, one of the best updates is also one of the smallest, the ability to nudge overlays with your arrow keys. I was getting to that, Paul, but we're we'll go ahead and do that. Great for lining up names, et cetera. Exactly. So what, what that means 
And if you guys want demos of any of the things, I'm, I'm not planning on doing full demos of like all of these little littler things. Um, but what that means is when you add an overlay to the production, you can just hit that arrow key and that will actually nudge it right into the spot. So sometimes with your mouse, you know, you're not gonna get it right in the exact spot that you want. But if you're picky, like the magical Mr. Paul Dixon is, <laughs> it was just on screen, um, then you're gonna want that, that nudge uh, to get it in a, the exact spot that you want. So <laughs> arrows for single pixel nudge, add shift for 10 pixels. Um, Mike, I don't know actually. Uh, I'll let them clarify that in the comments for you. Uh, if the, the 10, the, if, if you hold the shift, if that does 10 pixels, I'm not quite sure on that one. The next one, oh, uh, Paul is saying correct. So there you go. So single pixel nudge, just the arrows, shift and arrow, 10 pixels. That's fantastic. Okay, now um, you can hide the user interface controls. Actually, this is worth a demo right here. Uh, so you see how when I have my mouse hovering over this management window, the, the preview window, right? Then I see all of this stuff. I see the, the, the screens, I see my cameras, I see all of the possibilities and all of the options. But if you hold down the FN key on your, the function key on your keyboard, uh, then all of those go away. See how they're going away? That's a quick and like dirty option just to get it to go away for a second. Hold that function key down, the FN on your keyboard, and that'll go away so you can manage and access whatever you need. If you want it to go away kind of permanently or for a, not just a quick second, then go into the window button or the window menu and click hide main window controls. And that will make it so that they don't come up until you go ahead and click back into it, okay? So I know that some a lot of people have asked for like the ability to not have all of the stuff on screen. And so they added that for you. That's huge. Um, okay. I believe and love that feature. I know. <laughs> Um, I believe, I believe that they have that in their queue, uh, for adding chat of private between the guests, but, uh, I, I can't speak to that specifically, but I, I don't, I don't know for sure, but I, I know that that has been discussed or asked for. Um, okay. Next is the ability to ban YouTube comments. Um, and so if you, if you're managing this yourself, you can now ban YouTube comments from within Ecamm. The next thing is, um, customizable hotkeys for scene switching. Uh, so you can, it used to be the fact that you would go into the different scenes and they would have, um, they, they would have the one two, three buttons. Um, now you can customize that hotkey right here and you can choose what hotkey you want for which scene. For somebody like me who, as you can see, I have a lot of scenes. Like I have a ton of scenes, right? <laughs> I want to be able to pick and choose which hotkeys if I'm not using like a stream deck, for instance. <laughs> Tana, where's that dog? I don't know if you're on the Ecamm channels, but if you are on the Ecamm channels, um, that probably won't fire. Uh, if you were on the LSP channels, it's just two different um, widgets, unfortunately. But uh, thank you so much, uh, Tana, for your super chat and for being new and being here with me to watch this. I love it. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How do I create your Ecamm screen production layout? The, the beauty of Ecamm is that every window is actually completely separate. So you can do whatever you want. I, I have it laid out like this because this works well for me. Oh. And there we go. Tana, thank you. I hope I'm saying your name right, by the way. Uh, there's your dog. <laughs> um, so I just have trial and error, like this works for me. Um, not everybody is the same. So if you, you need to learn kind of where your eyes go and what you need 
access to during your production. And that kind of controls how you lay out your screen. But like, I don't like to see the, the screen. Uh, the sorry, the um, desktop. So if I had it like this, this blank space would drive me absolutely freaking insane. So I make, I arrange it so that I cover up every ounce of the desktop. That's just me. Um, maybe a little OCD that way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I have more scenes than Chrome uh, tabs. I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> okay, the next minor feature, but is important for you to know about this update is, oh, I don't know how many of you are gonna actually use this, but <laughs> if you look at the uh, camera effects, there's new black and white. Boom! <laughs> I don't know, black and white. Um, I haven't figured out a, fun, a, a use case for it, but if you want to play with black and white and get a little, <laughs> I said Pinot Noir. <laughs> if you want to get a little Noir, <laughs> not Pinot Noir, um, <laughs> with your black and white, then there you go. You now have the ability to. <laughs> I am curious though, who uses it and what do you use it for? Like, how do you integrate that into your production? Please do let me know. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Yes. Oh, and you know, you guys can also hit that hold, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> I got to scroll through all my scenes right now. And you can also hit that subscribe button. This is a WebM overlay. Very small. We've got audio. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I think Doc Rock says he does it to be sexy, the black and white. Well, Doc, I mean, you're always sexy, so you don't need the black and white, but more power to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, everybody loves the black and white. I love it too. I just haven't really figured out when to use it. Uh, I love the new camera effects. I'm an artist. Uh, oops, hang on. I'm an artist and this will work great for me. Fantastic. I love that. Ah, before a concert. Desaturating. I like that. Okay. Uh, Jillian says I use the black and white feature as a scene when I'm talking about anything sad. <gasps> mm, yes. Like, this is the way, right? I love that. I love that. That's a fantastic option uh, to, to set the mood. Like, to set the mood. Yeah. Okay. Storytelling. Yes. Okay. You guys are so smart. I love it. <laughs> All right. Next up, blue screen option. So if you're using the green screen functionality, but you haven't been able to because you have a blue screen instead of a green screen, now you can use the blue screen option. <laughs> uh, yes, you could do, you, you could totally do a uh, mystery stream, de detective stream. I accuse Callie in the studio with a microphone. I love it. <laughs> uh, next up in the features list, a 30 second, oh, 30 second skip buttons. Um, if you are playing a, a, a video and you want to skip ahead, and you're like, this isn't quite the right spot. Um, you can skip ahead via 30 second skip buttons. Uh, the, there's a, now the ability to create an image overlay by dragging from apps like Photoshop or sorry, Keynote, right? So like if you have, if you have Keynote open and you have a, a, a an app or, or sorry, a graphic or something, you can actually dr just drag that in. Um, and now you have an image overlay. So that's pretty cool. <sighs> oh, everybody loves the black and white. That's amazing. So cool. Okay, I, I guess we're gonna see just a ton of black and white streams from here on out. <laughs> um, next item on the list, oh my gosh, it just keeps coming. The next overlay and previous overlay buttons um, to cycle through a series of overlays. Here's the thing, you saw how many scenes I have, right? So I have all of these scenes. If you didn't wanna create a scene, for every single overlay that you have. And instead you have your production set up so that you know that you're gonna go from this overlay to that overlay to that overlay. 
then what you could do instead is just set up all of those overlays, not through scenes, and you can use the previous overlay function, uh, or sorry, next overlay function or previous, and then that's that's your that's your production right there. So it's a little bit of a simpler setup, um, and that way you don't have to like set up a hundred scenes. I actually did. For my 15th anniversary of video production, of doing videos online on December 23rd, 2020, I did a, a whole show where I, was, I, I went from tip to tip to tip, and I had all of those on an overlay um, thing. But I had to set up like 23 different over, or scenes, whereas with this functionality, I could have just set up the overlays and then just hit next, 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 next. So a little bit easier for production. Um, <laughs> Darren, uh, totally, <laughs> totally. And maybe if you win the giveaway, maybe you'll get that stream deck. How about that? Next up, uh, let's see. The background overlay images and videos. Yes, 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 yes. Let me go to a scene so you can actually see what this looks like. Old tight, new as old. So this is my live streaming pros um, uh, assets. Um, and so you see in the background, it's actually moving. It's animated. Um, and that's a back, this is the background functionality that, that I'm talking about. Um, and so now I can add anything on top of that background and you still see that no matter what scene I'm going to. So if I switch up scenes, then that background is still going. So it could be static or animated, uh, but that's what that means. So we've been using that to and loving it. Okay. Uh, the ability, the ability, <laughs> um, that's not the background, wait, but we did have, oh, oh, okay, okay, um, I, I showed you the wrong thing, but essentially, that's the, that's how it works, <laughs> um, okay, let me, let me see if I can, now. okay, we're just gonna move on, but, but it, that's, that's what it looks like, so I, I didn't show you the exact right thing, but that's what you, that, that's the type of functionality that you're looking at. Um, next up, resize the overlay by dragging from any corner. This is what um, uh, Ecamm was, show, was talking about earlier. Um, so you can, uh, you can resize any overlay, you can drag from any corner, uh, which is huge for you to be able to make adjustments to whatever it is that you're wanting. And then, oh, and you can drag an overlay beyond the edge. So let's say, let's go into demo mode real quick. Let's say I have this super chat, right? So I have this super chat um, that is the, the, the uh, Abby one that we're, that we're watching. Now I could actually, let's say I didn't like where it was placed and I wanted to make an adjustment. I can now, uh, 